disappointed at all that you don't get to wrestle that last one? Oh, it doesn't help me with the weight thing. Um, but I'll be all right, you know. It's just something else I gotta do. It's part of the sport. And, um, you know, if you're banged up, you're banged up. You know, if you need that time to rest, you need that time to rest. It's, uh, you know, you just gotta come back, gotta come back tomorrow. I mean, that's what we both gotta do. It's what's, what's gonna happen. Um, do I wanna wrestle? Yeah, but, you know, can't just linger on it. Yeah. Gotta keep moving forward. Pretty, I mean, nine to 10 guys win the first round match. I think you guys have seven plus maybe Dev getting into the, or seven or eight, you know, in the final. I mean, mm -hmm. you feel pretty good about the day you guys were able to put together as a team? Yes and no. Uh, yes, because yes, it was a great day. It was a good day. And we showed up, you know, we came ready to wrestle and we came with, you know, with fireworks and ready to go. But um, no, because I think that we're even better. And uh, I think we all know that we're so much better. And, uh, you know, this, you know, this is, this is just a, a stepping stone, but you know, we, we all know that there's so much more that we can achieve and we want to achieve. So, you know, so yes, it's a good day, but no, we shouldn't think that we're on top of the world right now. We, we got more to do. Did you get a chance to talk to Levon after that tough loss? Yes, I did. What did you say to him? <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> to him, I said, like, you wrestled good. You wrestled your best. Uh, there's nothing you can be mad at, but you know, you just gotta find a way to score. You know, you're a freak athlete. You can't let people shut you down like that. And, um, uh, and really, it wasn't really much shutting down as much as backing up, you know, and that's the best way people that can shut you down, quote, you know, then uh, you, ain't, you ain't doing nothing wrong. So you, that means you're doing everything right. And, but uh, <clears throat> no, I just, you know, he's a good friend of mine. I was just like, hey, come back. We need you. You know, we're still a team. We're still in this race. And we're, you're, a, you're a big instrument, instrument in this whole, you know, team race. And we need you to come back and on the backside and do what you do. All right, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Yeah, you know, the only three guys at 141. How, how, how important would it be if he could get that last automatic berth? I mean, he's going to go to nationals either way, probably. But psychologically, would it mean something you think for him to win the consolation bracket and get that automatic qualifier? If anything, I think Mays is ticked right now. You know, because he came into this looking to win it. So I'm going to be excited to see what he does tomorrow. Um, I, psychologically, I think he's fine where right where he is. You know, he, he came in here they're thinking he's going to win it, and I think he's still fine. It's like. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna tear stuff up. I'm gonna come up and rip it up the competition, you know. So, uh, I don't think there's anything that's gonna change his mind right now. He's just focused on getting to the next match and getting points on the board. And I think that's what everybody's focus needs to be. That's it right now. Yeah. We'll do two more guys, two more. A home crowd. What do you think of the, this home crowd? Very pro uh, Mizzou home crowd. What do you think of that? Very pro Mizzou home crowd. I'm, I'm hoping some more can make it tomorrow. I'm hoping that, you know, because, you know, yes, there's a lot more than I expected out there. But uh, I think that there's some, a lot more that can that can come come out. And I hope they're just waiting to come to the finals. Um, but other than that, we'd love to have some more come out. But uh, I'm proud to have a bunch of guys, people just M I Z Z O U and all over the place. And you hear it in the arena every time you win. And, you know, it just in general, just being out there and just cheering you on, that's amazing. That's that's fun to actually feel that. Um, but hey, you know, like you said, it's very pro Mizzou and they're making sure they're known, the presence is known, so. Junior you Wellington you tomorrow, what do you know about him? I know he's tall. <laughs> he likes ACDC. Actually, I know that. We talked about it before our first match. I was like, what are you listening to? And he's like, oh, I'm listening to so -so. And I'm like, yeah, I'm an old school guy. Like, I'm a Frank Sinatra. I'm like old school. He's like, oh, you like ACDC? I'm like, you can never go wrong with ACDC and everything. So, you know, we were just talking and everything. So I know he's a cool dude. Um, I know he's really strong. I know that uh, there's... Shoot, he's a, also one of those guys that's just kind of a freak athlete at the weight, you know? He's, his strengths are his strengths, you know? And, um, and he knows how to use them, and he knows to to go after him. So, I mean, it's whatever comes up tomorrow. Did he win, by the way? I think yes, yeah. Well, he beat then, yeah. Beasley. Oh, yeah? He knocked you off last year. Mm -hmm. Is there any, are you, are you looking to, into that at all? He beat you in the duel. Mm -hmm. are, are you are you looking forward to that? I mean, there's nothing I wouldn't look forward to. A wrestling match, wrestling match. They got seven minutes to go out there and come up on top. You know, seven minutes. And that's what I'm gonna do, give my best for seven minutes. Uh, whatever happens, happens. But uh, I come to wrestle. I don't prepare for no one man. I don't prepare to wrestle. You know, a certain event I compare to wrestle to come out here and wrestle. That's what I was telling people and everything. We don't prepare for people, we don't prepare for events, we prepare to wrestle. And that's what I come out to do. So you were listening to Sinatra? Yeah. Huh? Well, I was just listening to uh, She's a Tramp or something like that. Or no, like, Ladies a Tramp. Ladies, ladies, yeah, yeah, Ladies a Tramp, yeah. It was really good. And, I was like, and then Louis Armstrong came on because it's the Frank Sinatra station. So then Louis Armstrong came on with uh, It's Just a Thing and everything. So it was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, you got some weight to cut. Yeah. Thanks for the time, buddy. Thank no you. problem. Thanks. No problem. Thanks.